Okay, next we will be hearing from Maryam, who will be talking about technical points to consider, to technical points to consider on um, presentations. And still remember to share your color combinations in the chat. Hi guys, I hope you can all see my screen. Um, I'm going to be talking about the more technical aspects on how to present. Um, so first of all, um, these are the main things that I'm going to be talking about. So the background, the lighting, the sound, the camera, and being prepared. First, the background. Why is this important? Well, it's important because we've already lost that more personal aspect since we are presenting online. So we don't want anyone to be distracted and not really focused on you. So what is an appropriate background? I would recommend finding a place in your house, preferably a white wall and recording from there. However, the main thing is to find a place where people aren't walking in and out. Um, but if you can't find this, you can blur your background, which is what I had on before. We can, you can also use virtual backgrounds. Virtual backgrounds can be used on Zoom, Google Meets, anything. Um, I would recommend for virtual backgrounds to use a background of a bookshelf and maybe some plant pops, creating a more professional environment. However, as many advantages as there are to virtual backgrounds, there are disadvantages. So you don't want to use one which will basically draw attention away from you. So you don't want to use one that's too busy or too loud. You just want to use one that's nice and plain and creates a professional environment. Next, lighting. Now, this is something that we don't generally think about. I mean, we're online. But depending on the lighting, it can often cause you to look grainy and dark. So to combat this, try and find a well-lit and bright area. I would recommend using natural light over artificial light is artificial light comes, comes in lots of different colour temperatures that aren't noticeable to the human eye. So it may, look you look, may make you look wonky on camera. Another thing is to make sure that the lighting's in front of you instead of behind you. If the lighting's in, in front of you, then it can cause you to have a silhouette. When there's not enough a light, too much light, or a light is pointed in the wrong direction, it can cause the camera to render a lower quality image. So I would recommend having one steady lamp directly by your face for even steady lighting, no side light or backlight. I would also suggest sitting with your back, back to the window as the camera will expose for the light and make you into a silhouette. Instead, flip it and face the window, which will give you a soft people pleasing light. Next, sound. Number one, you want to make sure that you're not in an area which has lots of chatter in the background, causing lots of echoes and the people in the audience to be confused and not truly hearing what you're saying. Number two, you want to make sure that your microphone works. So I would recommend definitely calling um, and Zooming with a friend beforehand. So you can also work on the speaking volume and the distance from device because you want to make sure that you can be heard clearly and just to find an area and a volume of your voice which is comfortable for you. Next, camera. So one of the main things is that you don't want to have the camera below you. This will cause, create a more Frankenstein kind of um, vibe which you want to avoid. So definitely have the camera situated at eye level. This might be difficult, so prop, prop up your computer or your device with books or whatever you can. Um, the next thing you also want to have a think about is your distance from your camera. You, don't want to, you want to make sure that you are clear and you aren't blurry. You also want to make sure that you are preferably seen from your shoulders up. Um, the next thing is the surface the device is situated on. So don't have it on a wonky area or a place that's going to get moved around a lot. You want to keep your camera nice and steady. Finally, being prepared. These are a few things that you need to prepare before you start presenting. First of all, check your microphone and camera. Make sure that they're working and that you found a, um, an area 
and a place to put them so that you're comfortable when speaking. Number two, practice speaking beforehand. So you're not stuttering and you kind of know what you're going to be saying next. Number three, have your presentation link open so you're ready to present. And number four, have any website links or sites open so you're not faffing around and trying to open them while you're presenting. I would definitely recommend if you're sharing a website to have the hyperlink on your um, presentation so you can press on it and go straight to the website. Finally, a summary of what we've gone over. So make sure that your background is um, plain and not too busy, so not to distract from you. Make sure that your lighting is well lit and bright with a front facing light. Um, and no, uh, number three, sound. Make sure that you can be heard. Um, number four, camera. Find an alignment which works for you. Number five, make sure that you're prepared. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to share and I'd be happy to answer anything. Thank you so much, Miriam, for that amazing presentation. You were honestly the perfect presenter for this topic as your lighting and sound were ideal in understanding all the technical aspects of presenting. Um, I was, whenever you were talking about the lighting and the sound, I kept being drawn back into your actual um, camera, which was the perfect example. Your lighting is wonderful. And if anyone has any questions, please write them in the chat. We'd be happy to notice and to, to talk about it. Thank you. Um, I just want to say well done to all of you. That Those are really, really great presentations and very, very useful as well. So for anybody watching, anybody who um, is going to be giving a presentation and gift in the future, for example, then um, watching your presentations will really help them to prepare and to, to learn about, you know, top tips on how to give the best presentation possible. So thank you very much for sharing today and well done to everybody um, for, for doing that.